guys this is my gears I'm going right into there and um, putting all my gears together walkie-talkie batteries keys clamps more clamps tripod strap for the camera and this over here is my vest so I can hold the camera in front of me so this is my vest and this is my boots my brand new boots it's not the motorcycle boots but it is a boots that could take some beating so got my brand new boots gonna pull that out today take it on the trail and give it a workout I actually bought these boots to go camping or hiking so it's gonna get a workout today so this is my gears that I'm getting ready to head out on the trail I'm heading to Hollister Hills today I'm gonna take my bike out for the first time right on the trail all right guys let me show you how I do the setup to get all my equipment so now all my um, pieces together in the morning so I'm gonna put the bike out here and this is what I do to get started in the morning push this bike back you know set up the camera to get all the great footages and I'm just backing up the bike here right now so I'm getting ready so I can take it up on the truck you know making the preparation in the morning and this is what's going on here so I'm getting ready getting out the ramp and making preparation to put the ramp on the truck you know this is the setup that I do when I go right in every time there's a set of pieces that you have to put together to make this whole day work you know I'm putting in the clips right here now to hold the ramp in place on the truck I just noticed a little hummingbird come and visit me all right so let's put the step or the ramp up and let's get this bike on top of this truck all right watch this bike performing this morning here watch this bike do take watch this bike get on yo check this out <laughs> Yeah, it's my first time putting this bike up on the truck and I'm learning a lot in this morning on this very day about this bike. So one of the things I learned I have to arch myself forward and hold the accelerator very steady and constant motion and that way we go up on the ramp very easy and smooth. Yeah, and this is it on top of the truck. Yeah, that was good for real. Yeah, but trust me, it was nerve wracking every step. Yeah. Every step of the way, it was not racking. I picked that camera up here, and I will take this camera down at the back so I can give you some different shots. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, well, that was not racking for real. Yeah, so let me give you some different shots. Show you some view of the bike on top of the truck, how we sit down really nice, you know. Yeah, give you some shots from all different angles. Yeah, check out the vibes. The bike is sitting real nice on top of the truck. All right, let's get the move on. Let's put all the pieces that we need in the back of the truck. Yeah, all my rope running to tie down the, the bike. I'm doing some tie down right now to make sure this bike very secure on top of this truck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't want no problems when we go rolling on the highway. So I'm putting all my gears in the back here, take the ramp and put in the back of the truck. Yeah, making sure that everything's set, you know. Put the boat ramps at the back of the truck. Check the vehicle on top and make sure everything's nice, you know what I mean? Yeah, check all my pieces in the back of the truck. Make sure all my gears is cool. And I'm gonna get the helmets here now, put the helmets in the back of the truck. I'm gonna close that truck and get the pump. I'm gonna put some air in the tire, make sure the suspension is stiff so we don't have any sag when we're driving, you know. So we stiffen up the suspension to make sure all is well so the, the back of the truck don't dance when we go. When we go right in, you know, when we're going down the highway. We want everything to be secure. So I stopped here at the gas station for a little bit more air because I didn't think I had enough air in my tires, you know. So. Head out on the highway right now. You're done uh, doing my thing. Yeah. Yeah, so the traffic was really smooth. We had no major traffic. Everything was smooth all the way down. You know, so it was cool. I stopped here at the Taco Bus to get some food and now we head out on the road again. And here, we're inside Hollister Hills. Yeah, I'm going inside here now to find a campground so I can pack my truck. And I'm looking for this spot now so to park this truck so I can take this toy down the truck, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. I'm all the way inside, you know, deep inside. Yeah, we're in the campground. I'm looking for that spot. Let's check it out, see what's going on. Handicap spot, no. 
Let's check the next spot and see what's going on. Man handicap spot again. Let's check out another one. All right, I found the spot. Yeah, let's do this. Let's take this toy down the truck. Yeah, for real. All right, let's get this on. All right, guys, I'm at Hollister Hills. And um, I'm just taking my toy down the truck. guys so I finally pull it down
Alright, so what I'm doing here right now, I'm putting my vest together, strapping this vest down on me, make sure it's nice and snug. And that's the vest I'm going to use to put my camera in front of me. So I'm going to pick up the camera right now, I'm going to remove it from the tripod, I'm going to take it over to the truck. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and get my big lens. And this is the lens that I'm going to stick in front of me with the camera. Yes, yeah, so I'll put on my goggles, get it ready, get my gloves. Get my, I'm going to get my knapsack here right now so I can put my lens inside of it on all the pieces that I need. You're going to leave one of the walkie talkies? Yeah. So yeah, I'm just making a prep. I'm going to put my gloves on and get ready to roll out.
yourself honestly what you ride wicked the bike is bad for real i love it yeah let's catch this guy coming up here and see what's going on Yo, this riding experience with this bike, trust me, this bike is, yo, my arms are shaking right now, force the bike up power, yo, for real, the bike, bad, it gained on real bad, yo, this little ride I'm tired already, I want to get more speed, but it's my first time riding it, out on the trail, so I have to be careful, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I love it. All right, let's go right in. I'm trying to get this camera out here for real. I want to move this camera and put it in the front. So I got to take my glove off all the time because I can't get the damn thing to touch, you know, the screen touch to my gloves. All right, I'm gonna put you in the front. All right, let's go right in. Start this motion.
Yo, I stop on a piece of hill here. It's a nice view around me. So I want to take some pictures. So I'm going to get my tripod out. My camera. So I'll take some shots up here. Yo, I love in the bike. Trust me. The bike getting on real bad. I'm going to tell you. Real bad. I'm loving it. All right, I'm gonna cut this one, take it to my next shot. Yo, it's real hot, I ain't gonna tell you. It's really, really hot. It's so hot that I love in it. Ah! Yo, I just thought I'd scream. Throw that out in the air. I love it, it's for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoying myself. Trust me, I love in it. It's a nice vibes. I'm up yet on Hollister Hills. Yeah, up here that hill bad for real, trust me. Let me take that camera out here yeah? and show you a view around that mountain. Yo, know, that mountain not easy, yeah? trust me. Trust me with that mountain up here. I love it, eh? check this out. Check the background. Again, 360 one time, same time, you know? Yeah, nice, nice. I'll tell you, nice. So there's some cities over there. Can you see that? Yeah, right there, yeah. So I'm gonna try to take some pictures and let's see what else we have. We have something over here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take some pictures over there. And this is why I pull up here. So I could um, get some pictures, you know? Yeah, so I thought, first time riding this bike, I got to do my thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just walking through the bushes right now to see what the bushes have to offer. Let's go in here. Alright. Cool. Can you see that, guys? Can you see this view? Whoa. The city's over there. Yeah, and the valley. Trust me. Yeah, this is summer, yo. I've been waiting so long to do this. Finally, I'm here. And I am going to do it. <laughs> woo -woo. Yeah, big up our crew, you don't know. Garage vibes. Garage vibes big up our crew, right? Alright, so I'm gonna pull my camera out and um I'm gonna take some pictures, do a little video around here. And this this is what I stop in this little roundabout here. I'm gonna cut you, take you to the next step. Yep, I'm out here riding and I'm really enjoying my new bike. This is the first ride that you get to ride on the trail. So I'm really enjoying it to be honest. The bike is quick, the muffler. The muffler is beautiful. Yo, I'm loving it, for real. The bike started to accumulate some dust here right now. Look like a real mountain bike. Let's do this. On the other side here, get some vehicles passing over here. All right, so let's move on. All right, what we're going to do right here now, we're gonna take out the gears and get the camera ready, you know, to take some shots. All right, let's go take some pictures. The mountain is very beautiful, so I gotta take some pictures before I go, you know?
All right, I give you a view from behind the bike. Put my gears together. I'm gonna drink a little water in the meantime, trust me. Thirsty, but. Yo, I can't even get this in here, shit. That's what you have to do when you have helmet. Can't really get to drink here, to put the damn thing up, so. All right, I can't waste it, so. I have to take a sip every now and again, you know? So. Can't go waste it right now. Try to keep it in this rag so you stay frozen. No. I'm gonna get my gears together. Make the move, huh? You know what I should do? I should take a shot while I'm leaving here. So I'm gonna set this up right now. Alright, trying to catch a view of the bikes when I go and pass by. All right, let's go start the fight. Stop here to take some pictures. There's a beautiful view back here. I'm just gonna check my um my walkie-talkie to see if my wife is there. Hey control, control, come in. I'm testing the distance to see how far this work. My wife is all the way down Repeat. there. I'm all the way up here on top of the mountain. Control, control, come in. What is on? The car light? The light inside the cab? Hello? Is this the light inside of the cab that you're talking about? Control, come in, come in. You found it? Dad, that's what I'm talking about. The one inside the cab. There is two ways. Either the door is not closed or there's a little switch what will dim and bright. That would put it on. Right on the left hand side, a little switch that you could push up and down like a little button, like a little or a little rolling knob. That's my wife. My wife is sitting inside of the van right now and she's wondering why the cab light is on. I think she have a door open or your thumb must be pushing up a little bit, you know, and that's why. Yep. Did you find it? Yo, it is so hot out here. You remind me of Grenada. This is the kind of heat that I know, you know. 
so it's not surprising but it is hot control control how are you doing Control, are you getting through? All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this video here and I'll do some time lapse. All right, guys, as I roll through this mountain and I'm rolling this time lapse right here now, I'm gonna pull out my gears and take some pictures. Yeah, I'm taking pictures of everything, trust me. Everywhere I stop on this mountain, there is so much beautiful things in front of you to take a picture of, you know. so. That's what I'm doing. I'm just shooting my camera away. I'm going crazy, hey, yo. I'm taking pictures of everything. I'm just shooting my camera away. I'm taking wide angle lens pictures. You know, I'm taking close up pictures. Dude, trust me. I was going crazy on this mountain, enjoying all these pictures. Shooting my bike, you know, taking pictures of my bike on the mountain. It was so exciting because the first time on the mountain. So I'm really excited to take those pictures to take back home with me, you know. And even to share with you guys so everywhere I look on this mountain was so beautiful and so much attractive things in front of me like the view you know I was going crazy yo just shooting the camera away yeah I really enjoyed it honestly looking at the pictures looking at the view it was really really nice I had a wonderful time in Hollister Hills taking those pictures riding the bike yo just being in that environment was really really nice yeah i love it for real yo i take some really nice shots with my bike the view of the mountain and taking the pictures this bird that was a really nice bird huge bird all right let me give you a walk around of the bike we're on top of Hollister hills and um we're on top of the mountain it's pretty high up here that's a view of the mountain and uh Pretty nice place. Really dry though. Really, really dry. Yep, so this is the mountain. I love coming up here and ride because you get to see all the beautiful view. The landscape is really, really nice, you know? Yeah, I enjoy it, honestly. The valleys are very deep. Yep. And today is pretty quiet. It feels like it's me alone up here, but it's not. There's lots of people up here. But on the trail, as you can see, it's like me alone, everybody tired riding, you know? So I'm loving it because it's empty and I get to do my thing. All right, let me get a little vibes below the bike. Here we get nice and dirty, you know? Nice and dirty. Yeah, we're dusty. I love it. Dusty up. All right, let's go right in.
Alright, so I stop here. I can see the view much more wide now. So I'm going to um, take some wide angle lens shots here. So this is what I'm doing. Alright, let's take some shots. Woo, tired. Alright guys, let me just vibes with you on this section of the ride here. This section of the ride was one of my most exciting rides. That ride here, trust me, had me busy. I roughed up the bike for a very long time on this ride here. I enjoy this piece of ride because coming up the mountain, you have a nice long piece of road to ride, you know. And this was one of the exciting parts here for me. So as I roll out, yeah, I stand up on this bike and get the vibes. One of the things that I learned here with this bike is that you could have a wonderful time on this bike and on this ride right here now, I'm feeling the power of the bike coming through my arms. Trust me, that ride is really exciting. You don't know, vibes are vibes. Rolling deep with the vibes of the bike. The bike is well planted on the ground and I'm using my four wheel. My four wheels in it is engaged. So I don't want anything to slip, you know, in case I need this four wheel. I don't have to switch it on while I'm moving. So I have the four wheel engaged and um, I'm going to touch that bike real hard here, for real. So this bike can be stand up and I'm feeling the vibes. Trust me, I could feel the, the power of the bike on my arm. I could feel, you know, you have to be very steady and strong. Put all your, your strength in your arm to keep this bike you know steady on the road because the bike is powerful remember the four wheels is engaged at the same time so the bike is grabbing up every piece of dirt on this road and trust me just encouraging me to rough it up and that's what I'm doing with this bike you know I'm really enjoying the ride yeah big up to our crew and this bike can be rolling for real the grunt of the muffler have me just want to touch this bike Trust me, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm touching this bike hard, for real. The experience with the bike, because the bike planted so good on the ground, I feel so confident to rough it up, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up here and get the vibes on. Let's run this bike. No, my blood up to a level, for real. And I'm feeling the vibes here, so I'm gonna run this bike. I think this is the fastest that I run the bike on the trail, and the longest. Right here, you know, this piece of road was just nice to run. And it gave me the vibes to just run it. Yeah, touch it. Yo, I open it up for real. Vibes are vibes, you're rolling. And trust me guys, I can feel the power of the bike coming through my arms. My arm had to be my arms had to be steady on these uh, handlebars. And I have to keep my body motion intact, you know. Just keep rolling with this bike. Match myself forward and it's up the mountain we're going and that's what I'm doing. And this piece of ride is so exciting. When I tell it's so exciting, guys, I want to rough up that bike more, but I have to keep in my mind it's the first time riding the bike on the trail and I'm breaking it out at the same time. So, you know, I'm just keeping it on a vibes. Just trying to keep it level and get this bike up the hill and down the hill safely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm rolling deep inside Hollister Hills and this bike, I'm loving it, yo, the muffler grunted wicked the engine gain on yo the bike so smooth everything about the bike is working so flawless eh? the suspension yo I haven't heard that suspension bag out on me one time when I say like you know touch bottom out not one time and I drop in that hard in them in them sink and ditch you know and the bike just accepting everything every bit in that they taking it that's what make that bike so wonderful suspension is the real nice the bike is planted real good on the ground you know and my accelerator is very sharp as I touch it, it moves I adjust it that way so I real prop the bike to fit my vibes so I've been a wonderful day on this trail because this bike is set for me you know and I'm rolling yo guys I could just feel the, the wind pushing me back on this ride and I'm loving it every step of the way yeah I love it I tell you I'm loving it I'm loving it yeah, let me run that bike for real. Yeah, no problems, guys. No problems with the bike. The 
the bike is cornering really nice. You know, the power. I have more than enough power that I needed on this bike. Yeah. So I love that bike every step of the way, to be honest. And this riding experience here is extremely, extremely exciting for me. And really, really nice. Alright, I'm gonna pull up here for a minute. My arms are really tired, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break here and I'm gonna change my battery. Alright, let me take a break here. And um, I'll change the angle of the camera, I'll change the battery. I think my battery is running low. I wanna capture everything as we're moving. So I'll cut this and put a new battery. Alright, let's roll. this piece of wood here and rough up this bike for a bit yeah let me touch it yo inside here I go crazy I see this piece of wood and I just tell them you know go and excite the bike inside it yo when I did that touch them off like grung 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 you know have it busy inside it dodging all them trees and then yo it was a cool vibes I just thought I you know I see the trees and this little spot I thought I go crazy inside it and that's what I did yeah touch it here side decide to rough him up inside you know yeah I enjoy myself in that piece of wood for real yeah give my broom broom touch him yeah all right guys so we back out on the trail and 
Let me rough him up here a bit. Yeah, let me touch it. Yeah, for real. Keep it busy. Yo, the muffler has me going on it. For real. Just that grunt of that muffler. Yeah, touch it. Alright. Yes, sire. Yo, so the bike quick. Two twos are touch it. I had to cool out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I love it. For real. Alright, so as we come down, coming down the mountain now. Let me just vibe to you as I come down the mountain. Now, coming down the mountain. It's a little bit nerve racket. The valley is on your right hand side and you know it's very deep trust me very very deep and you could feel a lot of loose you know boulders below you but nevertheless the bike is exciting to ride the trail is exciting you just have to be on your pick and cues you know you're careful now the bike is go free wheel in here you have to touch the accelerator to get that engine braking and we're keeping it rolling for real I I kind of pull up here to show you that view in front of me that's a really nice view so I just pull up here to show you that view yeah beautiful view you know I love it yeah that's what I stop here for all right let's roll again yeah so as we get the move on I will touch it yeah I love to hear the grunt of that muffler for real yo guys this bike is exciting trust me Hollister Hills is exciting to ride the trail is nice I love the trail yeah, a lot of exciting spots you know you just gotta be careful yo that bike come a blood up to the level for real so as I run down that hill my bike going through wheeling here you know yeah but I learned that I have to touch the accelerator to keep that engine breaking and that's what I'm doing you know yeah so coming on the trail yo it was a real nice vibe I ain't tell you I could feel that loose bowlers below my bike but the bike feel well planted so I'm not feeling any way shaky or any way you know the bike planted on a good vibes and I love that so because the bike planted so well I have the confidence to rough it up you know yeah but I wanted to rough it more than I did but I've been careful and it's the first time so you kind of come like I'm breaking the bike out you know this is like your first breakout so I'm just you know keeping it on a level alright let me keep it steady going up here yeah I love the ride trust me guys I enjoy that ride yeah I can't wait to do it again for real a lot of exciting parts on that mountain the mountain is huge I love the environment up there you know get some nice fresh air it's just beautiful to be up on that mountain you find some peace and quiet you know and some time by yourself on the mountain so it's a really good vibes can't complain in any way you know the mountain just so beautiful to ride yeah and the views are crazy yo all parts of that mountain you turn there is something so beautiful in front of you to take a picture trust me guys the mountain is really exciting to ride check it out sometime yeah the views the valley deep I just love being on top of that mountain it's so high you know and a lot of road to ride so you will have a well full day of riding on this mountain you don't have to worry about anything just be careful make sure you have enough water because my water was running out on me the bike wasn't run out of fuel at all because I make sure I chuck it up to the max here yeah? so the bike was good with fuel I'm the one who was running out of fuel I went to the one buckle of water because I'm telling myself you know what I'm just gonna ride inside this mountain and ride out but no take it two hours to get out of this mountain so I had to sip my buckle of water to make it back to base you know but anyway that's lesson learned next time I go up on a trail I'll have more than one buckle of water I'll make sure I'll be more prepared you know all right let's keep the ride going trust me let me tell you about this about this ride right now yo this mountain right here I saw a piece of view in front of me again and I saw a hill on the left hand side so I pull up on that little curve right here to show you guys you know I'm thinking about riding that that hill I'm gonna back up the bike right here and I'm gonna show you that hill that hill up there I'm thinking about riding that with my Kawasaki KLX 300R so I just thought I put that in my in my video so I could look it over again because next time I go riding I would like to take my Kawasaki KLX 300R on that hill all right let's keep the move on back on the trail yo 
riding. Yeah, let me touch it. Let me touch it. Yo, open it up a bit. Get some air inside it. Yeah, road. Yo, as I touch it, I have to cool long enough for real. But you hear that grunt of that muffler in the back there? Yo, that bad RJWC muffler getting you know, on wicked. For real. And that muffler is time to touching that bike. Yo, that bike just has me going on here, for real. Eh? On top of that mountain, I don't know how fast I'm riding, but I'm rolling so this. I'm getting that move on. That bike just has me going on, wicked. And I'm loving it, for real. Yeah, I had us to touch that bike, boy. Wow, I couldn't wait, you know. Yeah, I bought that bike last Christmas, so you know. First time on the trail. Yeah, I'm ready to beat it up. I'm eating up that trail crazy, yo, and that bike just biting up every piece of that trail. Yo, I'm loving it for real. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying that bike. Yo, trust me. Hear that grunt in the back, hear that grunt in the back of that muffler. That muffler is telling me push it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it gave me that vibes. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, we're touching it hard on top of the mountain. Yo, and we're coming down the mountain, so you don't know. Vibes are vibes coming down that mountain. Yo, my hand on that accelerator, I just keep going on it. Yeah, yo, right here. Yo, 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 hold up. Yo, that bike wanna take me down the valley. Yo, 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 I just get relaxed instead of touch that bike, and that bike wanna take me down the valley. Nah, 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 let's back up that bike and keep it on the trail for real. First time on the trail, we ain't going down the valley for no reason. We're gonna keep that thing level. Yeah. And we'll keep the move on for real. We'll keep focus, keep ourselves on that trail. We went to ride and we're gonna ride. Alright, let's keep the roll on. Let's keep it on, soldiers. Let's keep it on. Let's take our mind off of this mishap <laughs> that just happened. Yeah, let's go down that mountain. Alright, the bike start freewheeling right here now. Yo, watch gravity pull the bike. Yo, gravity pulling that bike hard. So I had to touch the accelerator for the engine braking, you know? So, that's what's going on here. Yeah, gravity just had me going on, pulling me down that mountain real fast. Yo, but I'm not worrying about that right now. I'm here to ride. And I'm gonna ride that bike. Yeah, alright, let's touch that bike again. Yeah, let's keep the move on. Keep our mind off that mess up. But trust me guys, that had me real shaky right now. Right now on this bike, I'm shaky like hell. But I'm braving up myself and telling myself, you know what, we're here to ride. We're not here to go down the valley. And I'm just taking my mind off of that and I'm touching that muffler again. I wanna hear that grunt. Keep that move on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's keep the roll on, for real. Touch it, yo. Yeah, open it up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, keep that vibes on, keep that general rush pumping. Cause we don't wanna lose that momentum, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's keep it rolling. Down that mountain we're coming, and we're heading back to base, and that's what I'm about. Just keeping the vibes on. All right, let me pull up here for a minute. Yeah, I'll give the wife a call. Guys, wow, that was close. Trust me, that was nerve wracking. That got me all shaken up for real, yo. But trust me, I'm ready on this day. I'm ready to ride this bike. Yeah, let's do this. Base, base, come in. It's a beautiful bird. Wow. Come in, base, come in. How's it going over there? I'm having a blast. Trust me. Hey, I'm on my way back to base. Looking forward to seeing you. All right, I'll see you shortly. Repeat. I'm trying. I stop. To get the water break. I see. All right. Make sure you have enough gas and that your sink has enough water. My tank is full with gas. Like the damn thing, don't drink any gas. I appreciate that. Oh, good. So, my cold water is finishing, so I must come back to base. I love you too. Over. My water is almost finished. So. Gotta head back to base. I have just a drip. So. I'm having real fun out here today in Hollister Hills. Trust me. First time bringing the machine outside. First time having the the bike out on the trails. And trust me, I'm loving it. Yeah, I do. Alright guys. 
Pick up yourself, Ricky and Hollister Hills. Much love, right? Let's get back on the ride. Yo, the sun is really hot, for real. But trust me, my temperature started to go down a little bit and I started to feel the cool breeze coming in. So soon, soon, it's gonna be cold up here. That's how high it is up here, you know? All right, let's get rolling. are having some problem here with this Samyang lens this is a big lens wide angle lens and it seems to be a little too heavy for the bracket that I have holding up the camera I using a what is that bracket it's a small rig bracket yeah I'm using a small rig bracket to hold up this camera my DSLR camera which is the a6300 and I put the Samyang lens wide angle lens on top of it and that seems to be a little bit heavy so first of all I was using my Voigtlander lens and that was perfect but I wanted a little bit more wide angle so I put on the summing lens and this is the first try and it just roll over so it seems a little bit too heavy but I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more and see what happened give it another chance and see if it will do the job properly you know what I'm saying it's not the lens it's the small rig bracket so I tighten it up a little bit more give it a chance again and let's see how it does all right let's hit the road again let's get back on the ride and get the vibes on all right let it roll yeah and coming on this trail trust me coming on the mountain it was a nerve-wracking part because a lot of loose boulders on the ground you know and a lot of curves and we kind of like on the edge of the valley so it was nerve-wracking Yo man, the Sam Young lens just roll around again with the camera. So I'm gonna drive with it a little bit here because you know I'm kinda like around a little curve a little bit, so I wanna clear clear the road, clear the traffic, get a nice spot where I can pull up some just rolling down the hill with it, shaky like that, just to clear the, the traffic. So I'm gonna pull up right here and I'm gonna do some more work on this small rig bracket and see if I can get it to hold tighter so that lens can do that job till we get back to base so I'm going to tighten it up here again and see what yeah, can be done lens is having a hard time because it's a much bigger lens you know so I'm going to tighten this thing as much as I can so it will stay and go spin around you know yeah well, I just make a whole 360 day with the camera although the lens is very heavy because I want to tighten it real tight, you know. So right now I'm trying everything possible to make it hold up to do the job. Tighten it as much as I can, trying not to break it. So I think I get it back where I want it to be and I tighten it as much as I can and I'm trying to set it back in position so we can get back on this ride. Yeah, so that's the little issues I was having on the trail with the Samyang lens is my widest yeah, lens that I carry so I thought it was the best lens to do the job but it's a little bit heavy I have to get a bigger bracket all right so let's get back on this ride let's roll yeah let's see how it hold up you know Yo, I'm hatching myself to the mountain side because the gravity is so strong. It's pulling me down that mountain. So I had to keep my, my body towards the the bank, you know, of the mountain. Yeah, it was a great experience, trust me. Every step of the way with this bike 
was wonderful. Yo, that lens turned around again. Trust me, that's the last. I have to take it out for real. I'm just gonna roll down the hill here, and then I'm gonna pull up another little curve, and then we're gonna remove that lens, and we're gonna put back our void the lens because it's much lighter. We're gonna lose one stop of light and one um, stop of whiteness, but that's all right. So I'm gonna change it around here. That's the last chance for it. The bracket is too small. Way too small, trust me. So this is my Voigtlander. Much smaller lens. I lose one stop of um, wideness, but we're good. All right, so let's roll. Heading down to base, you know. And this is my most difficult part of the riding range. Right trust me, coming down the hill. A lot of loose boulders, you know, dirt. And gravity is pulling me like crazy. First time I feel gravity pull me like that, for real. But it was a good experience. And I'm being very careful coming on here, you know. I have to lean to the side of the of the mountain. Because you could, you could feel, you know, when I first feel this, this pull of gravity, I was like, wow, that's feel funny. What is that? My first experience. But, um, I learned from that and I keep arching myself to the to the mountain side, you know. And uh, I had a better experience by doing that. I didn't feel so unsafe. But I have to tell you, the bike is well planted. You have no problems sitting down on loose dot. I don't feel like it's gonna slide or skate, you know what I mean? Yeah, and coming on the hill here, gravity is pulling me so hard. And something that I learned about the bike is that you have to keep your hand on the throttle to get that extra braking power from the bike. So if you don't do that, the bike is going to run free after just a few seconds. And it seems like that's what gravity wants because as the bike started to run free, it speed down the hill. And I have to tease the throttle every now and again to get it in place, you know, to get that braking power from the throttle. But the riding experience, phenomenal, trust me. The excitement level is up, for real. And I tell you, up is up. Enough yeah, fun on that trail. Yo guys, check the sun in the back, giving me a great shot in my in my video. You know, I got to have the the live sun in my video. That is nice. Yeah. All right, so we're rolling. We're going back to base. You know, it took me a couple hours to get out of this mountain, but trust me, it was fun. It is fun. I love it. And the bike seems to be holding up with the fuel well. I have no problem. It feels like I'm the one who was running the fuel. My water was finishing. I was more concerned about my water finishing than fuel finishing in the in the bike. All right, so we're coming on a stiff piece of grade here right now. We have to be careful, I could feel some loose boulders, you know. But the bike don't feel no way shaky or anyway. Alright, let's touch it here for a little bit. I'm being extremely careful as possible.
some parts of the heel is very loose you know so it makes you uneasy a little bit but you, if you take your time trust me you'll be fine and you gotta keep your your bravery up trust me there's no need to get shaky on these trails because the mountain road trust me if anybody asks me i think it's a dangerous road but it's also a fun road it is really nice to ride up the hill but coming down the mountain hills trust me you get some really nerve-wracking parts because it's so high in gravity you can feel gravity actually pulling you down the valley but i tell you what it's really exciting to ride this bike coming on the hill don't mind the gravity and all that i'm really having a good time on this bike coming on that mountain trust me every step of the way really exciting i love the power of the bike it feel well stable on the ground so i love that about it make me want to run that bike you know just touch it every minute i get to touch it hard i touch it yo 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 that's another mishaps again yo that's the second time this bike tried to pull me down the valley yeah but trust me i'm holding my bravery and i'm ready to ride this bike it's my first time on the trail i expect all kind of crazy stuff from it but i'm gonna do this yeah let's keep rocking yeah if you notice i arched myself towards the the side of the mountain of the of the bank because gravity is it feels so strong that it's pulling me down to to the valley side and coming down this piece of heel right here the boulders are very loose you know and you could feel the gravity very strong in that area especially this area right here but i'm ready to ride to the end i'm going to get this bike back to base safely you know yeah and so i'm rolling we're coming on the mountain there's the most nerve-wracking part you know of the ride because we got some steep hill to come down you know and that's what I'm doing, I'm taking my time but the bike is so thirsty, you just want to run I have to control this bike every way alright, I'm going to stop here for a minute, there's a steep hill I cannot see around that curve and this curve is very steep so I'm going to come down this bike and check it out which is something you must always do when you cannot see around the curve and the hill is very steep you should check out the terrain before you go down that steep hill, you know, so you, you know what you to expect so I take a walk down that hill and just around the curve to I can see where I'm going and have a good understanding of what this hill have to offer so I can control this bike in a good manner going on this hill you know so this is what I'm doing there all right so I'm back up on this bike yeah and I'm ready to rock let's take this bike to base for real let's do this road I'm going to take it very easy coming down here until I clear the curve yeah and the curve you know the, the boulders is very loose on the curve so here gravity start pulling the bike again the bike now gone freewheeling I have to control the accelerator to get that compression from the engine braking you know and this is what I'm doing coming on that hill so there's a lot of things that I learned on that day with that bike you know, so the next time I go on this trail, ready myself for anything what coming forward on this trail because it feels like a year I haven't seen that trail, you know. And they did some grading and fixing of the road, so a lot of the places that I remember look a little bit different. But yeah, I'm ready, trust me. Going back to base. Yeah, and that's what's going on. So I'm coming on the mountain. And this was actually the most nerve-wracking part coming on the mountain here. Yeah. Because after I clear this, this little heels on him here, I think I'm actually down to the flat. Yeah. And this is what I'm doing, coming on very careful. You know, taking my time. Yeah, so I switch the camera here and I put you guys in front so you can see what's going on. 
There's a nice little pond, got a little lake here. Nice vibes, you know. Bikers go crazy in it. So yeah, I'm back down to the campground. And I'm all the way up to the end, trust me. So I have like three different places of the campground to to drive past before I meet my my actually my actual stop where I park my truck. Yeah, so in the campground here, you cannot go too fast. They have a speed limit of 15 miles an hour. So I'm taking it easy. It's a perfect place for me to open up on this bike, but they have to have respect and some consideration for the trail, you know? And if you see speed limit signs, you gotta respect it. And there's other people on the trail right here. There's kids around, so we gotta be careful. So I'm respecting the speed limit. And I'm getting that nice view of the campground as we roll to base, you know what I mean? Yeah, so trust me, the ride was a blast, is a blast, the bike is bad, trust me. I have not feel anything that make me feel uncomfortable on this bike. For the very first time taking it on trail, the bike performed flawless, trust me. Flawless, when I say flawless, I had no issues. More than that, I had the experience with the gravity tried to pull me down twice down to the valley. But lesson well learned. I'm going to be more prepared next time. So it's a beautiful sight to see the campground. There was not a lot of people in the Hollister Hills grounds that day. But if there was 500, you wouldn't even know that there was 500 because the place is so huge. Yeah, it was the highest mountain I ever rode my motorcycle and my my ATV my UTV you know and I love that mountain something about that mountain yo dude you get your blood pumping because there's a long way to ride up and there's a long way to ride down yeah lots of different experience you will meet on this um on this mountain I would encourage anybody to come check out Hollister Hills it's a really wonderful place you want some peace and quiet away from everything, from the city life. You gotta come to Hollister Hills. You got to go up in that mountain. That mountain is huge. The mountain is exciting. The views are crazy up there. You know, just so much to take away from that mountain, to take back to your home. And this is what I got from this mountain. I got all these great footages, all this great experience. You know, and I'm really happy to take these footages back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love being on this mountain, this mountain, a lot of great experience, trust me. Yeah, a lot of things that you meet on the trail that you would enjoy. Trust me, the bike perform. Of course, I had to touch my bike here. I think they tell me 25 miles here, so I open up a little. Yeah, I just can't stay away from feeling that power. That power just excites me, you know what I mean? Yeah, the muffler is rowing, trust me, making the bike sound extremely wicked. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it, trust me. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up here and I'm gonna back up my bike for a minute and take that little road thing that would take me closer to my to my base, you know, to my campground. So, backing up here for a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna touch a muffler for a little bit, check it a little acceleration, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, get the blood warm, you know. Yeah, check that song off. Trust me, that muffler bad. Yeah, you're ruined for real. But it's a good vibes, trust me, it's a lot to see, a lot to learn, a lot of dangerous spots on the trail, a lot of exciting spots. Yo, the mountain have all the crazy stuff that you're looking for, for real. Peace, quiet, excitement. <laughs> Yo, for real. Yeah, let me touch it. Yeah, open it up a little bit right here. Get some air inside it. Yeah. Yeah, I love to hear the roar of that engine, for real. That muffler grunting real wicked. Yeah, bad boy for real. Let's do this. Yeah, 
trust me, I didn't even know how fast I'm riding. The bike was just so exciting, so exciting to ride. I'm loving it for real. I'm back to my campground. I recognize that I'm back to my spot. Yeah, and I'm just rolling in, you know. Long day of riding. Yeah, back to base, you know what I mean? Yeah, just keeping the motion steady. Yeah, taking it back safely. Back to base. Yeah, the bike perform wonderful. Trust me, the bike did this thing. Bike perform flawless. Finally get the the motion back to the base, you know what I'm saying? I can see my truck from here. Yeah, and that's it. Yo, trust me guys. To get this bike back to base was pure keeping the vibes real, being extremely careful and thinking to yourself, you know, you just want to have a great day. You want no incident, no accidents. So I was being on my pick and cues as much as I wanted to open up that bike. It was my first time, so I'm just keeping it real, you know what I mean? Yeah, being careful in every sense. And it was a pleasure riding the bike. And it's a pleasure getting it back to base safely. Yeah, so that's the vibes. Finally. Yeah, the motion is back on top of the truck. Alright, so it's time to head out, you know. Yeah, finally put it up and everything is safe. The ride was good. I enjoyed. And let's head out, you know. Head out to the highway. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, just rolling out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and this is what I'm about here right now. Yeah, taking this highway back home and as you see the traffic is nice and smooth. Right here we pull up. Beautiful dog. Hey doggy. They'll pull up and they'll leave the ass in in the freeway and stop right there kind of at a diagonal. Oh shit. Oh no! <laughs> wow, so you guys see a lot of crazy stuff around here. Oh, so many people stop and they try to stop here and they end up on Yo, the rocks. Guys, some of these fruits, I have no idea what the name fruit. of those fruits. What is this one? Apricots. Apricots. Cool. You want some? Yeah. Is it sweet? Hi. Hello. Look, you look like it went to the beach. That's okay. Here at the so top, the crown sour? might be a little bit sour, but the rest of it where it's like that orange color would be nice and sweet. Okay. Okay. We'll try one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. In fact, these I like to... All right, guys. So we just stopped and pick up some fruits and now we're yeah, heading out. Nice. Yeah. Very cute. Think it's a boy and a girl? You think it's a boy and a girl? Yeah, kinda. The white one look like a girl. Yeah. I hear they're very smart. Alright guys, we saw these two beautiful dogs and we thought we just showed them in in our video. We stopped at the cherry shop to get some cherries and other fruits and we're heading out on the highway now. Now the traffic was really busy going back. We had some major traffic on our way back to home, you know. But nevertheless, everything was smooth. I had a wonderful day. Me and the wife, you know, we enjoy ourselves. I enjoy riding this bike, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a great day. So traffic on the highway, small thing to me, you know what I'm saying? Especially going back home. Yeah, the ambulance just fly past us. And right here is the fire truck. There was a bike on the ground, you know. I'm very sorry to see the bike on the ground. You gotta be careful on this highway. You gotta be careful in every way, you know what I mean? So every time I take my bike out for riding, I, it's always not racking, especially going on the highway, you know, just trying to be careful from leaving your base to go where you're going to ride and, you know, coming back here, yeah, that'll be on your pick and cues and, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, everything was fine and I'm back to base now yeah, and setting up the ramp, you know, usual thing to get this bike down. Yeah, so I'm going to pull it down. Yeah, everything come down safely as you see, put away the ramp and right now I'm going to wash down this bike. To make sure I don't carry all that dust in my garage, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's the whole setup of the day. Well, you guys, you don't know, you all see the day, how it went. It was a wonderful day. I appreciate you guys hanging out on this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, tell a friend. Yeah, you don't know, Garage Vibes. I appreciate you all hanging out. See you guys on the next video, alright? I'm out.